How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access YouTube educator, Math Teacher Ash, and welcome to another reviewer series in preparation for the upcoming first quarter examination in mathematics. In this video, we will be dealing 40 questions for our grade 7 students, and this will be divided into four parts so that it will be bite sized and you can check it if you are not finished in one sitting. Of course, my dear math learners, it is better to finish all of these four parts because it will equip you and prepare you to ace your first quarter examination in mathematics. So if you think that this would be helpful to you, please click the subscribe button and notification bell. And without further ado, let's do this. Question number one. What is the supplement of an angle measuring 65 degrees? Is it A, 125? B, 115, C, 105, or D, 95 degrees. I'll give you 5 seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, if we are talking about supplementary angles, by definition, it means that the two angles have the sum of 180 degrees. Now, in this problem, we have one angle given which is equal to 65 degrees. Now, ask yourself what value or what angle is needed in order for 65 to become 180 degrees. Very good. That is 115 degrees. That is letter B. Let's check whether we are correct. All right, very easy, my dear math learners. So now let us go to question number two. Angle A and angle B have a sum of 90 degrees. They are called blank angles. Is it A, vertical, B, complementary, C, supplementary, or D, adjacent? I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, in terms of two angles having the sum of 90 degrees, of course, we already know that it is not supplementary because supplementary is having 180 degrees as the sum. Of course, the counterpart of supplementary angles is the 90 degree sum of two angles and that is what we call complementary angles. Letter B. Let's check whether we are correct. All right, my dear math learners. Now, let us go to question number three. Can an angle have two supplements with different measures? Is it A, yes, B, no, C, sometimes, or D, maybe? I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners. Going back to the idea of supplementary angles, if you have one angle that is given, of course, there is no possibility to have another value, which is still a measure of an angle, that would sum up to 180 degrees, except that counterpart of it. So, if you have, for example, 50 degrees, what is needed by 50 to become 180 degrees, that is 130 degrees, and there is no other angle for that one so therefore we cannot have an idea or or a possibility that we have two supplements for an angle so therefore the correct answer is letter b no let's check whether we are correct all right my dear math learners i hope you are doing well now let us go to question number four angle three and angle four are vertical angles thus they are a supplementary B. Complementary. C. Congruent. Or D. Not congruent. I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners. For question number four, when we are talking about vertical angles, these are basically angles formed when two lines intersect with each other. They are also known as the back-to-back -back angles, meaning the north and the south, the east and the west. And if that would be the case, my dear math learners, by definition, vertical angles are always congruent. All right, now let us see whether letter C, congruent, is the correct answer. Okay, my dear math learners, we are correct. Now let us go to question number five. How many pairs of vertical angles are formed when two lines intersect? Is it A, 2, B, 3, C4 or D 
One, I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. All right, my dear math learners, we all have already discussed this in the previous question of how many vertical angles or pairs of vertical angles are formed when two lines intersect. Of course, there are four angles formed and talking about pairs, the north and the south, the east and the west. Okay, so basically, we have two pairs of vertical angles. That is letter A. Let's check whether we are correct. All right, now let us go to question number six. A pair of angles that share a common vertex and side is called, is it A, supplementary angles, B, adjacent angles, C, vertical angles, or D, complementary angles? I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. All right, my dear math learners, for this question, we need to consider the definition of the four given choices. When we are talking about supplementary angles, these are two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. For vertical angles, these are angles that are back to back, when for, uh, in which it is formed when two lines intersect with each other. Complementary angles, of course, is the counterpart of supplementary angles, and these are two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Now, there is only one left. Now, what does adjacent angles mean? Adjacent angles are basically angles that share a common side and a common vertex. Okay, and that is the definition for our number six. Okay, so letter B is the correct answer. Now, let's check whether we are really correct. Yes, my dear math learners. Now, let us go to question number seven. The sum of two angles is 180 degrees and they share a common side and vertex. What describes their relation is it a vertical angles b complementary angles c linear pair or d adjacent angles i'll give you five seconds to think about your answer okay my dear math learners in question number seven we have two statements the first statement is the sum of two angles is 180 and that is supplementary angles the other statement is that they share a common side and vertex and that is adjacent angles now of course when you put them together the condition of these two it does not just simplify for an adjacent angle or it does not simplify for supplementary angles instead it creates a new relationship and that relationship is what we call very good letter c linear pair now let's check whether we are correct okay my dear math learners i hope that is clear to you so when the supplementary angles and the adjacent angles are put together they become a linear pair all right now let us go to question number eight what is the sum of the interior angles of an octagon is it a 720 degrees b 900 degrees c 1080 degrees or d 1260 degrees i'll give you five seconds to think about your answer okay my dear math learners in knowing the sum of the interior angles of a certain polygon you can follow or you can apply the formula n minus 2 times 180 degrees where n is the number of Sides. Now, if we are talking about octagon, it means that is 8-sided polygon. So, that is 8 minus 2, that is 6. And 6 multiplied to 180, that is letter C, 1080 degrees. Now, let us check whether we are correct. Alright, my dear math learners. Now, let us go to question number 9. Which term refers to a 12-sided polygon? Is it a decagon? B, dodecagon? C, on decagon, or D, try decagon. I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. Okay, my dear math learners, this question is very, very easy. Why? Because it is just a question about knowledge. So, if we are talking about 12-sided polygon, this is known as, of course, dodecagon, letter B. Let's check whether we are correct. Okay. Now, of course, decagon means 10 sides. On decagon means 11 sides. Try decagon. Uh, basically, it is not a considered name for a polygon because after the dodecagon, the next 
numbers are known as the n-gon, which is n refers to the number of sides. So if it is n-gon, if it is 13, 13 sides, it will be 13 gone, 14 gone, or 16 gone. <laughs> All right. So I hope you get, you get the idea. Now let us go to question number 10. Which term refers to a nine-sided polygon? Is it A, octagon, B, nonagon, C, decagon, or D, heptagon? I'll give you five seconds to think about your answer. All right, my dear math learners, another knowledge question. So if we are talking about nine-sided polygon, it means that is letter B, nonagon. Let's check whether we are correct. All right. Of course, octagon means eight sides. Decagon is ten sides, and heptagon is seven sides. Okay. All right, math learners. I just like to congratulate you for finishing the first part of our reviewer series. If you are liking our video, please click the subscribe button and notification bell, as well as share this to your fellow friends, classmates, and schoolmates. Now, without further ado, let's go to the second video.